And I used that one. That one broke me the heck out, you guys. You know, sometimes after you cleanse your skin and you towel dry your skin, sometimes you just have that squeaky feeling on your face. This will literally restore moisture to your face. This sunscreen is one that I always reach for. It doesn't make me feel clogged up. Ah, I have used this one up. I have been squeezing it out. It's like, girl. <laughs> Just get another one. It understands the assignment. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist, and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel. Join the family. So we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. Oh, you guys, I have been wanting to do this video actually for a minute, and I'm so happy that I've finally gotten around to it. This is actually a pretty popular video. It's the empties video that's pretty common among skin influencers, beauty influencers, and I kind of really wanted to do my own take on it and kind of tell you guys the things that I've been loving. Does it mean these are the only products that I love? Obviously, I've made tons of videos on here talking about products that I love, but some of the products I'm going to show you guys today, I've had them for like months, probably getting close to a year at this point, but I've just been using time and time again just because I you know the work and I absolutely love them and um, yeah without further ado let's get into this video starting off with the cleansing oil I've been loving the cure all cleansing oil this is like my favorite all-time cleansing oil I'm literally out of it I think I'm last like a few last drops here by the way none of the products I want to talk about today are sponsored by anyone this is literally me just talking about products that I've absolutely been loving anyway back to cure all so this product is just amazing you guys know as a black girl when you put your wig on and you have like that extra glue left and you just need to get it off and just all these bombs and stuff don't really get it off this product you guys has it's amazing it literally just like melts off the glue and I don't have to like fuss about like have extra glue left in my hair after I'm like done taking a shower Ugh, you guys it truly truly does what it's supposed to do and it's also great for dry and sensitive skin this is definitely my all-time favorite cleansing oil all right moving on to balms I before I ran out of my pharmacy green clean uh, cleansing balm I also really love that one but I also use this one in conjunction with it this is the Fenty Beauty skin total cleanser also a fave literally out of it <laughs> I think I'm also down to the last few pumps in this one. It's supposed to be more of a cleanser, but I found that it works better as like a makeup cleansing balm. It doesn't quite remove all of my makeup like the Cural cleansing oil, but whenever I feel like I just want a balm, I don't really want to deal with oils, I just use this one, especially when I don't really have like my wig on or whatever. Like I just would prefer to use a balm, so it's just like easy peasy, you know? But yeah, definitely a fave. Moving on to cleansers. So this one is the AHC Aqua Hyaluronic Foam Cleanser. I adore this one. You guys can see it's literally yeah out <laughs> um it's a pretty good cleanser if you like cleansers that are really really foaming sometimes i just love to have like a lot of foam i just love you know really good cleansing surfactants and this one just does it for me it also has hyaluronic acid and ceramides that just you know really help your skin remain soothing so it doesn't like strip out your skin this is a korean brand i believe and you guys already know i'm a sucker for korean brands um, but this one definitely lathers really well also just cleanses your face really really well sometimes i actually use it as a body wash when i run out of my body Body washes but this is definitely 1000% a staple I also use the MD acne MD acne is like a customized um, skincare brand they customize your skincare for you and I've collaborated with them on here before so yeah definitely two of my favorite cleansers and I still have a ton more I've also made a video on here where I talk about some of my favorite cleansers but these two have had probably the longest and I've just used them up and I figured I should feature them on here and I just yes love Moving on to toner, and I'm actually gonna do toner and moisturizer together because they're both from the same brand. Also a Korean brand, you guys see, I'm onto something here. <laughs> doesn't really have any actives in it so if you like just like a refreshing toner a toner that's just going to make you feel awake you know sometimes after you cleanse your skin and you towel dry your skin sometimes you just have that little you know squeaky feeling on your face this will literally restore moisture to your face and then i follow up with the moisturizer this is by medicube they're both from medicube and you guys know i've collaborated with them so many times on my channel love 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 this brand um this is their water in cream moisturizer it's literally out <laughs> Um, and this one is a water-based formula, so it's really, really good for my oily skin, especially in the winter time. I have no qualms with it. It literally feels super light. Like, whenever I apply it, y'all, it's just... <sighs> It just feels refreshing. I just love that refreshing feeling. I prefer a refreshing and like, you know, soft feeling than like a tight feeling that sometimes moisturizers give you. So this one does it for me, especially sometimes you guys, when my face is breaking out for whatever reason, just like out of nowhere, this is always my go-to. I have never ever gone wrong with it. It always just gets the job done, so. Ah. <laughs> okay, moving on to retinols, my treatments. 
and you guys know I love a prescription retinol and I always run out of them. They last me about four weeks, maybe six weeks, but I have used this one up. I have been squeezing it out, trying to get that last bit of it, but it's it's out. It's like, girl. <laughs> Just get another one. And then also the Verst new, this is actually a new product from Verst. It's the Out of Sight Dark Spot Gel. I've collaborated with them on my TikTok. And you guys, this actually does what it's supposed to do. It understands the assignment. It literally just makes my skin feel really good and also actually does what it's supposed to do. This one has kojic acid, tranexamic acid, and niacinamide. It's so, so good for my skin. I tend to use both of these together and I haven't witnessed any irritation. So just patch test if you haven't tried kojic acid or, or any of these other ingredients before. Be careful to not you know, cause irritation in your skin. But these two I have found to just be amazing. If you're not comfortable using both together, you could just use a retinol at night time and use this one in the AM. But yeah, I, I'm so sad that I'm out of the retinol, but I'm so, so, so happy that at least I still have this one to fall back on while I restock on my retinol. For sunscreen, I have been loving the Everyday Humans uh, SPF 30 sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen. It is so lightweight. I believe this one has fragrance, so if you don't like fragrance, I would not use. But this one definitely does hydrate my skin. It has spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid. Ooh, such sweet, sweet ingredient. I love, love it. Whenever my skin again just feels like it's getting irritated for whatever reason this sunscreen is one that i always reach for because it's super super light and doesn't make me feel clogged up and finally it's actually a pretty random product um i have been using this one i try to treat my face every once a week i use the sand and sky uh australian pink clay and this one has bentonite in it i believe australian bentonite clay i've used the indian um that popular aztec indian clay one and for whatever reason when i use that one that one broke me the heck out you guys mm -mm. Um, but this one just doesn't do that for me. I think Kodali actually just came out with a new formula for their mask as well. And I used that one this weekend. And I also really like that one too. So yeah, clear masks once a week for me. I can't do more than that. I would advise to also do once a week if you're looking for advice on that. But this one definitely has been doing the job. So yeah, I figured I'll shout it out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's your turn. Share with me what products that you have been loving, that you've been emptying out and you're obsessed with. Please share below. I definitely want to check it out. I am on a spree of checking out new effective products. So please, please look down below. I would, I would love, love to know that. And I'm not sure if I explain what empties are at all in this video, but empties are pretty much products that I've been using up that I've been loving that are just, I would definitely restock on. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, join the family, you guys. I know I have not been on here as much as I should be on here. I promise to do better. Promise. <laughs> thank you for watching again. I will see you guys next time. Bye.